So we thought we'd break this into three events. So you can see like the dates along the left. Our first event is tonight and the, the third one will conclude in about four weeks time. And what we wanted to do is that we know that one of the things that you're all really looking for out of uh, an OutSystems user group is that you're looking to get interactive with people. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, learning without systems is fun, uh, but learning together and sharing that experience will make it really meaningful. And so what we're looking to do is, it's, it's kind of like a hackathon, you know, like, but, um, but we're going to be focusing on OutSystems Forge components. And by the end of event three, we're going to actually be making and publishing Forge components in our systems. And so tonight, what we wanted to do is, first of all, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to brainstorm some ideas of things that we could make as Forge components. And then we're going to vote on our favorite ideas. So our six favorite ideas and, and those six technical leads that you saw on the previous screen, they're going to be a leader of each of those teams to make those Forge components. And then you're going to pick which team you want to join and get in on, on that Forge component build. And so basically with event two, you'll be uh, really getting into it in terms of uh, brainstorming it with your team that you've joined in terms of uh, yeah, coming together with that Forge component. And then by event three, we're going to um, you really get that done, get it built, have a look at them all, and we're going to pick a winner. So that's what we're thinking, and we think that's going to be a lot of fun. And I can say there is prizes involved. And uh, for the team that wins an event three, it's a pretty decent prize too. We've got uh, an Amazon gift voucher and uh, an our systems user pack for every member of the winning team. So really looking forward to, to the, so let's, let's break down tonight a bit. So you just get a bit of a, a time rundown here. And um, in a couple of minutes, we're going to jump into random breakout rooms. Now, what we want to do here is that we'll be sharing a, uh, a Miro board link in the comments very shortly. And so just um, grab that and load that up on your screen, have that ready to go. And we're just going to have random breakout rooms where we can just get a bit of uh, a focus, you know, a couple people each per room, where you'll be able to just talk about ideas, um, agree as a team what you want to pop on the Miro board there, and, um, and then look to sort of break that down into like, say your two best ideas each that the, the ones that you agree on that you like the most. Um, so we'll, we'll vote on all of that at 630. And then at 645, we'll then have um, established the teams you know, for, uh, based on the ideas that we want to build. And we'll be able to get you hooked up together as a team and break out into those teams. And you could basically build those connections, uh, talk about what you're going to do, and then we'll all come back together at seven o'clock and we're just going to do a bit of a quiz uh, for a bit of fun at the end. And there's a, an our systems uh, pack uh, as a prize for the, that Kahoot as well. So are you happy to proceed on that basis? Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. So let's, uh, let's get started. Let's, let's jump in and, and look at these breakout rooms, give you guys as much time as possible to uh, spitball some ideas, things that you think could be an out systems forge component. So you'll be receiving the uh, links to go into those breakout rooms very shortly, Cecilia. It has been dropped in. It's in the chat. All right. See you when you come back. Got your ideas happening.
There you go. Paint these two people in the main room. Hey guys. Are there people joining? I think that our group was like no one was coming off. Mm -hmm. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, yes, it's clear. Yeah. I can't hear anyone. You guys, so I you think guys we can. Have problem. Yeah. We, did you have problems in our room, Josh? No, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't very nice. Yes, yeah, so it was just me, Ferdinand, and and Manideep there. So we thought uh, I will move them in some other room where there are more people. Uh, so there are four rooms which are currently active. Anyway, that's, that's uh, Hafiz saying similar here. So, uh, yeah, Joe, right. like uh, we can use this uh, as a room if you would like this, even though it's a so actually, I, I yeah, see there I are four rooms, good. and there are four rooms with uh, six members each, uh, with, they are active. Uh, but we can use this one as a main stage as the sixth, sixth room, or like fifth room, if you would yeah, like. Yeah, makes sense, okay. makes sense. Let, let's use this one then. Oh, yeah. So, which team is, is ours? Which number is our team? Should we take team four and work on it? Team four then, guys. Uh, uh, Arnav, Ray, can you guys hear us? Vijay? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Cool. Did you guys manage to have access to the mirror board? <laughs> uh, I can hear you guys now. I can hear you guys. Yeah, so Arnav is okay. What about the Halfway back, can you? Yeah, I, I am hearing, but when I was in the room, I was not able to talk or do anything. <laughs> it was strange. Yeah, same here. No mm. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, let's I'm... use this room then. Let's use this room to, to discuss. Yeah, let's just talk here. Yeah. yeah, the breakout room was a fancy idea. Let's leave it for later. <laughs> uh, about the middle board, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, cool. So let's you to this. All right, the yellow box. So, how about if we start dropping our ideas? Feel free to pick any any of those uh, purple post-its on top of the yellow box. And... Okay. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Okay, I can see that now. Oh. Okay, you can see it now. So you can zoom in. I can see your little names flying around the screen. So yeah, I just joined. What are we doing here? So we're trying to bring some ideas on the Forge company. Yeah, sorry, and I think you think yeah. you missed the introduction. First step. Let, let me just rephrase, if I may, uh, Cecilia. Uh, this is the first section of a series we're going to be having. Uh, so three sections is the first one. And our idea today is to do a brain, brainstorming and voting session with ideas for components for you together in the next session. All right. So today is to collaborate with ideas. So put any idea you have in mind, any components you you have ever wanted to build on for on the Autism Forge. Just put it here, don't think of restrictions or complexity. We're gonna go over it later. But for now, just drop that. Okay. Um, if you guys have any problems with mm, I, I can't do anything. I can just see it moving. 
Right. Are you able to go to the team or box? Right? No, I'm not sure how to do that. Now, now it's gone. Um, oh, no, you're I'm a bit new to this. Screen. No, I go to the link in the chat. You need to go to the link in the chat to interact with it there. So don't look at the shared screen, go to the link in the chat. So there's, a, there's one from me that says Miro board. You click on there. Swain, Osama, Patricia, Raphael. I don't see um, Miro board. I'm on chat. Okay. In the chat. In the chat. Okay, Swain. I just, I just okay. sent it again. Ray. Yeah, me too. Do you see my last message? So on the uh, right hand side, it says on the top chat, attendees rooms. Click yes. The chat. Yep. Have. And at the bottom, you'll see a couple of links to Miro. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, got you. That, uh, Cecilia. Yeah. Yep. So then Sorry about this. I'm a bit new to there. this. Yeah. Oh, good. Hmm. Oh, This is new. <laughs> the one that you're seeing in the, the meeting is just the an example. Mm. So don't be looking at this meeting. Make sure you're looking at the mirror board. Sorry, we should do the component of oh, breakout rooms. <laughs> what's what's the team name? I think you might be on to something. What's the four. team name? Team four, the yellow box. Team, team number. Oh. This is completely foreign to me. Copy this link and share it. Sorry, how do we take the uh, link and, and, and share it in the work messenger? Uh, what do you mean? I've got if the you, link. If you just click on the link in the chat, it, if you click in the chat, it should open a new tab. It, it has, yeah, I, I'm on that new tab. And Miro, invite teammates. Oh, you should just be able to see it. You shouldn't have to sign it at all. Oh. Want to put Skip on for now. I'll put it on the board. Okay. Um. Mapping, strategy, yeah, yeah, yeah. ideation. Which, which do you want to do? Mapping, strategy, ideation, meeting, workshops, research, agile workflows. Sorry, um, what do you want to do? I've got on my tab, Miro, what do you want to do? Mapping and diagramming, strategy and planning, ideation and brainstorming, meetings and workshops, research and design, and agile workflows. Um, that's a really long one. So mapping and diagramming, agile workflows. This is this is an idea, Ray, or a question? I'm 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 just uh, this is all new to me, and I I'm uh, I'm floundering. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Just, just to to explain again, then what we are trying to do. Do, do you know Forge, by the way? Do you know Forge? No, I don't know. I'm completely new to out systems, and uh, uh, maybe I should skip out of this because I, I'm going to hold you guys up. Because I, I don't know very much about Forge at all. 
Don't worry. I, th I think the idea here is to learn. Uh, don't worry. If okay. you don't know, we can, we can always explain. Okay. So like, like you know, uh, Out Systems is a low-code framework, right? Sure, and sure. Oh, I know. On, on its site, we have something that's called Forge. I will just send the link here for you on the chat. This Forge is basically a, a repository of codes of applications and components uh, that yes. anyone can create and upload uh, components there. Sure, sure, no, I understand. Okay, so the, the idea of this group, this user group, is to come up in, in this first event at least, is to come up with some ideas for us to create Forge components. So sure. on the next sessions, on the next groups, we will be creating what we defined it here. So if you have any any idea of oh, yeah. components or something we could do, we yeah, help systems I do. to yeah. publish. Perfect. Okay. What, what well, it would be like a, a, direct, a, a drill down, uh, like a hierarchy. Uh, you know, like the, the file manager, you know, you can drill down the directory structures and on each systems that I, I built in the past, we had a hierarchy of um, company, sales group, um, within that the marketing group, within that the, and they could drill down and every time they click on uh, uh, the, the, the little directory, they would bring up um, the, the, the the correct values in the screen next to it. So it was like a like a file manager. Very looked like a file manager, but it was a drill down. And I haven't seen that anywhere in any of the um, uh, low code environments. I'm just wondering whether the, you can you can do that. Whether it's easy to to build. I don't know. Do, do you understand what I mean by drill down? Like, like a tree component, right? Tree, exactly, exactly. Tree component. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we use that a lot in in finance for um, drilling down onto sales figures and loans and so on. It's also used in a bill of materials as well. In, yeah, yeah. That's something I haven't seen anyone build. Oh, that's a that's that's a good idea, uh, Ray. Do you want? Did, did you manage to open Miro? Or do you want us to, to put it again? You you put the idea in it. Yeah. I, I'm a bit, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. I just, no I, worries. I can I see what's it. going on. Okay. Nice. Any other idea? ideas ray or any anyone else well there was one thing I, i've seen done uh in order did we did we lose my break we lost it have a, a, ray? i think i think you have uh, you're back I'm back. Can you hear me? Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> um, so, uh, what we call a picking list, where you have a um, an order, and within that, you have a, um, a table of line items for that order. And if you click on one of the, the lines, there's another ta there's another table underneath which shows all the parts in that order. So it's a it's what we call a double picking list, where you have an order, you have the order lines, and within the, each order line, you can click on that, and you see in the table below it all the parts of that order. As, as I haven't seen that done. Yeah, picking list. Yeah, master detail kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, no, that's just. Yeah. Because what we want to start doing is um, we want to start 
sort of s s collating within our group, you know, two or three of the best ideas and put them towards the bottom of your square and just discuss amongst you which of the ones you want to put because then everyone's going to vote on the ideas. So just two to three good ideas, bring them towards the bottom of the square. We I think you vote first, right, to get to the better messages. We're doing we're doing a big vote. So we're putting forward each group, putting two or three ideas forward, and then the whole team is voting on which of the six that we're going to take forward. Right. Okay. So this is just between you guys. Like, what is the most feasible, needed, unique idea yeah. out of your groups? Can I ask a clarifying question of about one of the ideas? Sound visualization bar. Who, who created that idea can, uh, do you mind elaborating a bit so we have a better context? Yeah, that's, that's me, sure. Um, it's, it's basically when you play, you play an audio file and you've got, well, at least one option, you see kind of like, you see the animation of the bars going up and down using actually the, the sound data to, to make to visualize the bar do you know what i mean when you see when you see the bars going up and down to the to the sound of the music ah like an equalizer yeah equalizer something like well well yeah something uh, like that so it will be a music player on the ground like a winner from the old school from the old times good old times <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> so now you just brought a lot of good news, mate. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. <laughs> the very beginning of MP3. Cool. <laughs> I'm wire. The lime wire that was huge. Yeah, it brings it back. Is it, was it like a torrent yeah. or left kind of service? Yeah, it was a torrent. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I worked in the music industry and everyone said how terrible it was and I would go home and use it. It was hilarious. <laughs> okay, so Just do we like, know what ideas we're gonna put forward? I I just want to understand a little bit more about the gamification platform too. Who who so, did this one as well? Yeah <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Can you explain what yeah, the idea is, is imagine that you have an innovation project in your company, something like that, and you want to engage employees and people to uh, to come forward with ideas. Uh, and to award them by their contributions. So the idea was to give people badges and make them climb some side ranking. And um, so the idea was to create a generic kind that can be used by different companies and even integrated through a few APIs can be integrated to create to collect points. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the big group soon. So we need to like put bigger the ones that we're putting forward. And move to the side the ones that we're not moving forward with. So just think of cool, innovative, what we're likely to get built in the time needed, community hungry for. Pick two or three. Um, one of my ideas were uh, for gen five scenarios where users want a way to design their own reports and plug in data from database. Um, so once they define the mapping between a report, it generates a report from it. Uh, Makes sense. But I didn't find anything like that currently in Forge. I thought that would be pretty cool. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's bring down our main ones. What are our main ones? Someone speak up, be brave, and say, I want to put mine forward. Got to put a couple forward. We'll be returning really soon. I, I want to put my progress bar one. I think it is pretty nice to create some animations and everything else. 
So this is if everyone agrees. Uh, we're putting three forward. We're putting three forward. So let's let's put that one forward. Someone else pick up. Tree control. I I, th I think the three folders ones, uh, Ray. We already have uh, some first components to do okay. that. Oh, good. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that that can be leverage from from the flash. I think the two ideas I put in was more like apps than force components. Both the gamification, customer satisfaction, plugin. Um, there are components that can be embedded in applications, but um, the, but the more business apps than. Uh, but that that would be an interesting business case to. Like a bigger move it down, down a bit so a bit towards the bottom so we know that it's like one that we're putting forward. What else? All right, so progress bar. So what's mm -hmm. the master detail widget? We've got one visualization bar, tree plugin. We said not right now, there's other ones, dynamic report generator. Um, mm. to do list app, cost satisfaction, that was usual, uh, plug in to connect, I mean, it's too yeah. small. Okay. Uh, this, this other idea, plug in to connect to Google Five Star, real time database. Um, I think it's a very interesting idea. Yeah. I remember I needed it about a year ago and we needed to build it from scratch. Uh, I, I only think. And we might have a uh, whole um, kind of complexity. Does anyone here know what Google Firestar is? I mean, no. you guys, because it might not be too popular and we might, might have some technical dependencies that might be a bit difficult to overcome. You know, setting up the Firestar, the Google account, other dependencies. A bit of a, of a tough challenge to overcome in a two-hour session, because that's the idea. We want to build these components in a in a session. So let's. So we've got two at the bottom. So can we put a third one at the bottom? Yeah. Do you what think dynamic you guys think? report generation? Um, dynamic. I don't mind putting dynamic report generation. I mean, I'll have to think more about the details for it, but. If you think that's a good business scenario, you can pitch. Okay, okay, let's let you guys have. So we've got three at the bottom. Make them all about the same size. Yeah, great. Our fire make make his. Uh, <laughs> let's to get attention. Uh, it's not it's not that it's, it's like I, I can't make it bigger without keeping the ratio I, I'm not sure why okay no, we'll 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 you. <laughs> I sorry I how much time do, do each one of us have yeah Cecilia thought... everyone is back, back. excellent so, if, so your team can like you know bring forward the two or three that you want to put forward for everyone to vote on and make them a bit bigger because we've got to take into consideration some things can't be built in that in that time frame as well there's layers of complexity so sort of bring down towards the bottom okay and some people have started voting all right please everybody vote twice on a forge component that you really want to build. I can see in team six and team five, nothing has been made really big. So if you put something up for voting by making it big, that would be super duper. And if everyone could just vote twice, you can put two stars on the same square, or you can put one star, one square, and one star on another square and head your bets. Drag the star across from the left.
everybody is, voting? I, I'm lost. Yeah, that's the first time I, I, I don't know how to do it. Okay, all you're doing uh, is your the stars on the left hand side, the little gold stars, you just drag one of them out across to the one you want to vote for. Okay. Um, stars on the... On the top left above the menu, there's little stars. I think we're ready. And the winner is. Okay, go ahead. Well, we need five. We need five winners. Five or six winners. So we need the top six. How far are you trying to bring this star to the top of your? I'm trying to. No, it's 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 back there. I am trying. To... God, I did I did it for you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I just put one, by the way. <laughs> just one was mine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I believe you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to start moving stars from uh, Ralph's idea just because it's way too much. <laughs> yeah, I was really quick with the stars, right? Do we have, I think we've got five, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six with three stars or more. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so one, so we've got scroll effects in team three, the blue. Oh, it's just a piece. Okay. Scroll effects. We've got dynamic matching chat app, custom era, um, progress bar JS, and a plug in. Out of all of those, the one with the lowest score is custom era, and it's got less. I don't know how it's moving around. Are things just changing colours? <laughs> People having fun. Okay, so I'll change the colour of the ones that have the most votes so that we know which ones they are. And I'll make them black. I've got loads as well. That's one, two. Three. Five. And... Scroll effects had two underneath. Do they count the ones underneath? If so, scroll effects takes over from one of these three. Well, all of these have four score, four points. Got one too many. So I think this the numbers underneath the stars underneath are redundant because they thought they went there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Are we happy with the six? Yes. All right. All right. Cool. And how the Alex effects work on other browsers? Talk to me. We have a we have a job offer. <laughs> okay. So we've done the voting, and if you're here, Aaron. Is Aaron in the house? So, moving these down to on top of a box further down the mirror board. If you right click, you can bring it to the top. Sit here. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Right. Right click is not the same on Mac. So I'll leave it on the side for now and I'll sort it out. So I'll just go down first. I have got. Okay. Right. 
I've got six down here now. I'm going to do write your name on a post-it note in the one that you want to work on. So this is us determining the teams. And it's a bit of a first dressed first, first set, you know, first dressed, first in, first best dress sort of thing. Sort of need an equalish number of people on each team. What if what if it's in the same team? <laughs> yeah. All the Mexican stand up. Sure. Yeah, you do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so we've got a lot of people on dynamic report generation. So between John and Joao, who's going to claim dynamic mapping component? Oh, I love it. So that's okay. I'm happy to move out. Okay, so by far dynamic report generation is very popular at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay. That that's one. good. So let's make it a bit more even because there's too many people on dynamic report generation. If you could move yourself around to another team, that would be great. So we ideally want one lead. Or we do definitely need one lead in each team. And we want to have uh, an even amount of attendees in each team. So we need a couple. There's no one in team one. Does that mean we're not doing that? Team one is uh oh, Leo's Leo is leading. So we'll put the lead in the bottom right. John is on this team. So we don't, so we're assuming that this one would be Nick if we, if we had enough people to have a six team. If not, we would move Sven on to another team and not do the six idea. Yeah, that's a good plan. Okay, so who else wants to, so we've got two in team three, dynamic report generation has too many people. Who wants to move across to team two or team one? Can, can I ask what, what exactly would be the, the, the idea for the dynamic report generation? I what so are we doing? Someone, someone nominated Yeah. Can someone explain the dynamic report generation? I think it's our idea. If our is, is not there. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, here I am uh, on the help of our love. Uh, we are working in the same thing uh, for the same organization. Me and our love. I'm audible to you. Okay, back in. The money is with the background very noisy. Can you mute yourself if it's... Who is this? I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From, uh, from one of you guys. 
I believe there can be four elements in each team, and then two and two teams can have five elements. Oh my God! One more element. Right. Can you just five please elements. self-commute. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think there can be four elements in each team. Sorry. Can you guys hear me? I think there can be four elements in each team. And one element could have a, f a fifth element. One team could have a fifth element. Am I order? We have someone that couldn't um, join the middle board uh, here in the mid. Uh, so, please, please, Fachi, did you find the group or you couldn't use? Okay, so at the moment, the team with the least is team two, and team with the got team fours and team five have three people each. So team one now has too many, team three has too many. So can someone move from each of those teams to another team? That would be super. How how many? We want to be fair. How many people? Sorry, there we... could be can't be four people in each team. We are we are twenty five. Can be. We just want to make it even. We just don't want to be completely. Yeah. One's got seven and one's got two. Like it just would not be cool. Because be able to compete or do get the same amount of work done. Hmm. Okay. All right, so now Brad has got only two people, so we need team two to have at least two more people in there. Come on, people. I am cool. Come to my team. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I can vouch for Rafa. He'll be good fun. Rafa is now dragging the people so, to his team. What, what, happens, what happened with my stars? My idea had a lot of stars before. <laughs> show, show me your dance moves. Yeah, now, now we know who's going to work with cool people. Look, I think I think we need to be democratic, and then uh, we do the the teams with different size. That is no problem because we have the second event, and probably someone else is going to join and can join this right. specific group. So we can break do the breakout rooms according to each team now. And then is when you're going to discuss the idea really to start working on it. So that's the next moment. Yeah, okay. can, you, can you see the middle board to do the teams? Yes, yes. So we will be starting the breakout right. room now. Great. I just wanted to reflect the teams. So come up with a team name, talk about how you're going to get stay in touch with each other, swap details, talk about you know what level you're at, intermediate, beginner, advanced, and just really start planning how you're going to work together between if you're gonna do anything between now and the second meeting. And I just, want to be sure, I just want to be sure that everyone got into the middle board and put their names. I'm just worried about mm. this. I was not able to join. Just to... You know. Yeah, I'm just looking at chat. I can't... Did they end up getting onto the mirror board or they haven't answered? Yeah, I think Biswajit, uh, he might have, he, he might have figured it out. So, all right. So let's do the breakout rooms. Then Hafa can explain how nice he is and the idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's a top bloke. I vouch for him personally. I'll give him five stars. Uh, Patricia, we will be having. Five rooms because I see the six team six is empty here. 
Yeah. Yes, five we'll rooms five. with the people that they the names, you know. Like for example, I'm not part of the competition, so you don't need to put in any breakout room for me. As a senior. Oh, okay. I, I I think my team now have a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy. You did a good advertisement. <laughs> No, John, 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 yeah, John I, one more, but... yeah, exactly. I am, I am feeling so, so bad now because people that were, were in the John team now came to mind. <laughs> sorry, John. Sorry. I, I really, I, I really am sorry. <laughs> Love is a competition. So speaking Ooh, of competition, fine. should we should we be explaining to everyone that Asama always wins competitions? So like his team has a <laughs> an enormous bias. It's already in the lead. <laughs> should have enough time for the last session, mate. <laughs> We should make sure you've got a harder one. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading their, their team's uh, component there. That's sounding pretty hard. So it's all of, that's cool. That's cool. A lot of there, so it has to be. <laughs> all right. Enjoy your breakout discussions. Hey, sorry. Um, I had a question here. Like, um, can I pick the room I want to join, or or is randomly assigned? Yeah. So I think we are having a bit of technical difficulty. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Because because yeah. I want to join to the to the to the uh, break room that my idea. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. for 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 now, we will just uh, right. bring everyone to the main room. Okay. Got it. Hi, hi. So it seems uh, uh, we are having some technical difficulty. Uh, we are unable to choose the members for the room. It's still like it's still uh, creating random breakout rooms. So as we uh, work around, so we can have. I would. And this, this, the groups. I think it wasn't using the analysis, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Okay. Yeah. So, so maybe we have to just determine a way to figure out how the team can get in touch and should every team member email their team lead maybe and we could drop email addresses in if we can't get the breakout rooms not being random. Sounds yes, like a good uh, plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, yeah. So can each team lead please put like this the short title, you know, the team number, team one, and then your email address, drop it into chat, and then everybody in your team will email you and then you'll create an email chain and you can talk about how yeah, how you're going to be in touch, this channel or WhatsApp or whatever you guys want. Sound like a good plan? Well yes desperately trying to work out the break rooms. We can also organize, uh, you, uh, you can organize like next week to catch up just the team uh, during the week in the evening to discuss the ideas. Yeah. yeah. So then every leader can, can send a, a, an email for you with a suggested moment. Because we are on top of the hour already, it's 
two to seven. And uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Can everyone <laughs> so the emails? Okay, so I just make sure yeah. you get the um, email address of your team because they're not emailing you, you're emailing him. He yeah, look, no, I, I'm I'm very new to our uh, system, so I don't know if I'm going to be of any use to anybody uh, on my team. That's so fine. it's uh, up to you. I just I'm just an observer, it's, really. Yeah, it's still a good opportunity, Lauren, as Rafa said. So, if you just want to email your team lead and then decide later, that's a good idea. Who, give who is my team lead? Who is team Which one lead? Team did you put team? down? Team two. Which my one team is put team two. I, I don't know who is my team leader. Team two is Rafael. Okay. Yes, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Team four, Osama. Team three, João. Team one, Leonardo. Yeah, I think we got a John bit of a delay. Very some of those messages coming through. Very good, me, yep. John. At least it's like that. So, yep, you can look at the mirror board, see your team, and email your team lead. They're not emailing you, you're emailing them. Okay. T -E. Who should I email, um, Cecilia? Team lead. So which team did you choose? Uh, team, uh, team, the, the dynamic reporting. That's so you the team three, so that's Joao, J-O-A-O. J O A O. So, okay, so he's he's dropped his email address in there. Okay. It's it's also on the mirror board. Got it. Got it. Okay. about all these components i saw so many good ideas yeah, yeah i was impressed with the amount of ideas that came up and good ones too okay so everyone has the email address of the team lead yeah awesome all right so now if you want to stay for another five minutes, you can get some prize in the Kahoot game that Cecilia is going to run. And I'm just going to share my screen again. I'll just come back to you for some housekeeping. So um, you would have already received an email. Sorry, got my whole screen is a mess. You will have already received an email uh, from Out Systems with the details of Event 2. So make sure you sign up for Event 2 because we'll be doing uh, dev tips in relation to each of the four components that you will be building. So, Aaron, do you want to explain any further? I've also I'd dropped the link in the chat. Comes up really well. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Yash. Yeah, go ahead, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Look, um, I think Cecilia covered it off actually. So, yeah, what we'll be able to do is uh, working in our teams on that night. We'll be able to um, get together in our teams, talk about the idea, and 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 how we're going. To, to flesh that out. So this is it's the nature of a hackathon. Yeah, it's not necessarily that you have to have work, working code, but really like you're, 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 you're fleshing out your solution. It could be on a mirror board like we worked today in terms of how things would work um, and, and how, how you figure that out. Um, 
starting to set up established roles you know, who's going to play what role in creating the forge component could have someone who specializes in uh front end development in your team someone who specializes in server side actions in your team whatever the case may be you'd be able to sort of talk how everyone can play a role in the construction of your forge component and that's what we're looking to do in event two yeah, the event too, we have uh, as well some content. So the, the team leaders will bring to you some dev tips about they will research and bring some ideas that teaching you will learn, you will learn something new to help you to build the component. So it's kind of a talk, a dev talk too. <laughs> Yeah, so this dev tip will be presented by each team, but to everyone, not just to their team. So everyone gets to benefit and learn. It's all about learning and community and connections. So it's, it's everyone get the dev tips and then you break out into your teams. And we might have separate Zoom links to every team to make it easier for everyone. So guys, don't forget to register for event two. Link was dropped in the chat. Uh, Yash put it there. Uh, a little while ago, so it's just bits from the bottom. Register straight away. And over to you, Aaron, if you have any closing statements. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for coming along tonight and today, whatever time zone you're in right now. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Really, really pleased with the attendance and uh, looking forward to event two where we start really getting into these Forge components. Have a great day. Thanks for coming, everyone. See you later. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, See you everyone. soon. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.